a number of different standards worldwide help guide manufacturers, purchasers and users in the design, manufacture, selection and operation of IS radios. Before we get started, I have to warn you, there's going to be a lot of acronyms. IECEX is the International Certification for Explosive Atmosphere Equipment. IEC stands for the International Electrotechnical Commission and the EX represents explosive atmospheres. The IEC 60079 series of the standards is now the international benchmark. They are used or adopted in 30 plus IECEX member countries, including Australia, Brazil, China, European countries, New Zealand, Canada and the USA. While IECEX has been widely adopted, there are a number of local regulations still in use. In the United States, equipment must meet the NEC or National Electric Code. Equipment can be approved for division or zone classifications. If zone approved, AEX marking is applied. Equipment for use in explosive atmospheres in Canada must meet the CEC or Canadian Electrical Code. The United States Occupational Safety and Health Administration certifies nationally recognized testing laboratories who test and certify US standards. Examples include FM Global, MET, UL, and the CSA Group. Approval for North America can be achieved by submission or review of the IECEX documentation with additional testing to national deviations. Equipment for use in explosive atmospheres in Europe is covered by Directive 94-9-EC, also known as ATEX equipment. The term ATEX is taken from the directive entitled Atmospheres Explosibles. From April 20th, 2016, Directive 2014-34-EU will apply. At the equipment technical level, IECEX and ATEX are very similar. The standards used to meet ATEX are generally European versions of the IEC standards. The ATEX directive also defines equipment groups and categories which gives ATEX equipment additional label markings compared with IECEX. In addition to the ATEX equipment directive, there is Use or Workplace Directive 1999-92EC. This specifies health and safety requirements for employers and utilises fairly standard processes of hazard identification, risk assessment, hazard mitigation and surveillance. It is the application of the use directive that results in a hazard plan with appropriate zoning of areas subject to risk. It is ultimately the responsibility of the employer to ensure that they have a hazard plan and are using appropriate equipment. Brazilian government regulations are administered by InMetro. Equipment for use in explosive atmospheres requires InMetro certification. Now that Brazil has adopted the IECEX scheme, InMetro certification is relatively straightforward via submission and review of the IECEX documentation. Australia and New Zealand will directly accept IECEX certification for Group 2 equipment. Group 1 mining equipment requires additional certification in some states of Australia. Wherever you are, remember that it is ultimately the responsibility of the employer to ensure you adhere to the correct standards, have a hazard plan in place and use the appropriate equipment. 